people can be energized to realize that history is fluid and it's actually within our capacity to decide whether we're going to stand up for liberal values, the, the, the values that create free societies and, um, and, and progress and prosperity, or if we're going to uh, be resigned to a fate that I think would be really damaging for mankind. Makers. So uh, I'm very excited. This uh, book, uh, Liberalism in the Free Society, has now been translated into Spanish with a wonderful prologue that was authored by uh, Ricardo uh, Salinas Pliego. So we're uh, very excited that uh, um, the people all over, all over the continent are going to be engaging with this conversation, which I think is just so important to think about how we can do a better job at showing that, um, that the liberal vision of society is not one about cronyism. It's, it's actually one that is about uh, inclusive prosperity, respecting the dignity of every human being. And uh, the groups that Atlas Network is privileged to work with are uh, providing such great examples of what that can look like. And uh, I hope the book celebrates that, brings it uh, to more people's attention. Yeah, the book was written to really recognize that we are at a crossroads in history. You know, you think about 1776 as the birth of the American Revolution. You think about 1917 as the birth of the, the Russian Revolution and the beginning of, of communism on a grand scale. Um, I feel like we are living through a time where history may be headed down um, a dangerous path. And uh, the thing that I, I uh, hope comes from reading the book is People can be energized to realize that history is fluid and it's actually within our capacity to decide whether we're going to stand up for liberal values, the, the, the values that create free societies and, um, and, and progress and prosperity, or if we're going to uh, be resigned to a fate that I think would be really damaging for mankind. with magic how we take our freedom for granted sometimes we don't realize how important something is until it's gone so i asked our government for permission to let me make the statue of liberty disappear just for a few minutes i thought if we faced emptiness where for as long as we can remember that great lady has lifted up her lamp why then we might imagine what the world would be like without liberty and we'd realize how precious our freedom really is. Yeah, well, I think all over the world and certainly in Latin America right now, we see some very worrisome trends where there's intense polarization that's enabling demagogues of the left, demagogues of the right to, uh, to, to, to steal people's liberties, to really um, uh, to impose big government and to unlearn the lessons that we should have learned um, in, in past decades about how uh, resilient societies are the ones that empower individuals and empower enterprise. And when the state takes too great a role, it winds up with all sorts of unintended consequences that are, are damaging to the health of society. Um, I think that um, in a very sad way, we're starting to see in many countries of Latin America um, that these lessons need to be relearned where we thought that maybe there had been um, some, some hard lessons that had already been absorbed. So I, I do worry about the region for that reason. Holy
Policymakers, segunda temporada.